Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me for the November 2016 Tarot Scope with Animal Totem. For the tarot reading, we're going to be using the Rock and Roll Tarot deck, which is my own creation, and then we're going to follow it up with one card pulled from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, which are also my own creation. As always, I have my book Tarot in the Modern World and my adult coloring books, but the big news this month is that the calendars are out. I've got the Tapestry of Life Mandalas, which has such really cool art in it, and then I've got the uh, Rock and Roll Prophetess one that has the monthly um, cool art stuff in it too. Um, I did another video of a real quick one that you can see everything, and then I have a coloring book also, of the rock and roll uh, thing. The thing that's cool about these calendars is they do have some astrology in them, but it's not astrology where you have to know how to read an ephemeris at all. It's got the basic astrology stuff that everybody wants to know, including the Mercury retrogrades. The Mercury retrogrades are going to be put in, in darker color, in gray. And it's got the new moon, the full moon, the quarter moon, and which sign it falls in. It tells you every month when the, sign, when it, the sun changes sign. Sun enters Taurus here. Um, so these are some astrology things that everybody you don't have to be an astrologer to understand and a lot of people want to know and they don't maybe don't understand how to really read an ephemeris and you know it could take years to learn how to work all that stuff out so this is an astrology calendar for everybody in addition it has all the holidays including pagan some pagan holidays so there's lots of cool stuff in this and this is a calendar that I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely use myself and I just thought it would be a cool calendar that everyone would like to have additionally I've got two more sets of lots out I've had the lots of love and I have also came out with the Lots of Answers and the Lots of Proverbs. Lots of Answers is sort of like a eight magic eight ball. You would say yes or no, but there's 40 different uh, possible answers. And then the Lots of Proverbs, you can get answers to your questions, but it also can be used for inspiration. And it has 40 different proverbs in them. So you can find all that stuff on my website by the Eye in the Sky or by checking below. I'm sorry to say that I was not able to get the um, Lots of Love card readings done this month. And uh, after the, everything just exploded and went crazy last month, <laughs> I just, uh, well, first of all, it's too confusing to have them on YouTube with the regular readings. So many people thought that I had changed my regular readings to pay readings, which I had not. So I am going to find another provider, possibly Vimeo, but I'm checking into some other things, and um, it may not be until the next, even until the first of the year till I come back to it. But I am coming back to it. I'm definitely going to come back to it. Uh, because one of the things that's going to be starting up soon, um, in December and in November, is going to be the year ahead readings. So I was busy with the calendars. I'm going to be busy with the year ahead readings. But it will be back, but just not in this, uh, on YouTube, because it was just too much work on my part, and it was too confusing for everybody. So anyways, now, um, if you know how to do my readings work, you can go ahead and skip forward. But here's I'm going to go ahead and tell you a few things about how the readings work, so you can get the most out of these readings. Have a great November, and I'll talk to you soon. First of all, I want you to take time to gaze upon each card. There are messages in the image and text. Pause the video if you have to, because the words will shift and change to reveal a message that is just for you. This is Empowerment Tarot. I'm not here to tell you how to lead your life, and no one should. Trust your own intuition and allow your guides and angels to speak directly to you. If this reading does not resonate with you, be sure to check your rising and moon sign for further insights and illuminations. Finally, as to the court cards, which represent the people in the spread. Because this is a general reading for so many people, the court cards will not be gender specific. So even though I may refer to a queen as a female, as she is represented on the card, it really could be anybody in these general readings. So now without further ado, on to the readings. Hi Gemini, thanks for joining me for uh, November 2016. Oh, there's a, too many, there's quite a few. I'll take this one. Uh, this is the November 2016 Terrascope for Gemini. We'll get the cards out and then we're going to get into it. This is the Rock and Roll Tarot deck. Which is my own deck. What else is going on for Gemini's in November? Well, the first card out is the Sun. I mean, that's fantastic. The Sun is probably the best card in the deck. Certainly in the top three. The Sun is all about your shining, your glowing, your positive vibes, 
you're just people are attracted to you have a lot of magnetism your energy levels are up your health is good you know so it's a very very positive card um so there's some baby reference here though because that's a baby and this is a card that indicates uh, children so some of you there could be um, something having to do with children pregnancies children babies stuff like that well let's go on let's start right across the, the board here we got the Sun card right next to nine of Pentacles so nine of Pentacles is about financial independence uh, having your own business being very comfortable having money for extra things like clothes and she's got her hair done and and also the thing to note about it it's like she's not in there in the pits like sweating and toiling she's got everything's under control you know she's got time for leisure and pleasure so uh, some of you could be going on a vacation too if you live in the northern hemisphere some of you may be going on somewhere sunny and warm where it's sunny and warm because we're moving into uh, winter time the Queen of Rods is in here in a positive way. Queen of Rods is a fire sign, usually. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person um, could be a person, but also there could be some things going on in Sag, uh, which we are going to be in Sag after the 21st. The sun moves into Sagittarius on the 21st of November. And then secondly, there's going to be a new moon in Sag on the 29th of November. So there's two big things going on in Sagittarius, too, which is a fire sign. So those could be key dates, the 21st and the 20, um, 29th. My new calendar has all that stuff in it, too, so you, and it's easy to understand. You don't have to know how to read an ephemeris. You can always find that out uh, for the next year if you wanted to. The central card is the judgment card. So something's coming to an end. A cycle is ending. You've paid your dues. You know, there's been a cycle where you had some hardship and trouble, although it's not showing in here. Um, but also the the, um, the judgment card is a card of moving to the next level. You know, so you're moving to the next level, and it does seem to really line up with a lot of money and career cards, as we have the Nine of Pentacles above, and then we have the... Um, uh, three of Pentacles below. So uh, Three of Pentacles is something that you have been building and working on. Sometimes this could be like you've gone to school. Some of you may be going to school and now you're graduating and now you're, you're out there in the work, you know, making money and doing the thing. Um, it could have been that you were just, you know, starting a, a fledgling business and, you know, you were researching and trying different things out, see what would work, what would not work, and then bam, you'd kind of like hit on the <clears throat> hit on that winning combination. Um, four rods is here, so some of you may be moving. You may be moving to a new home, but sometimes when it's with a lot of these pentacle cards, it could be like a new work environment, a new office, something like that, uh, relocating to take a job, something like that. This could be a fixer-upper house, too, because he's got his hammer and stuff, and he's, you know, this could be like a, a home that you were fixing up. Or even flipping, maybe if some of you out there are flipping houses, like you could say you could turn a good profit on the flip. Um, the Two of Rods is down here. This is a great card. Two of Rods is finding your path in life, finding the way to go, seeing the road that you must go on, having a clear vision of where your life could go. Because that's how things get messed up half the time. People are floundering because they don't even know the direction they want to go in. So it feels like you're really honing on, on the direction that you want to go in. Sometimes this is, and it's a partnership card, so it could be a business partnership, or it can be a, very much a love relationship card. But the, if it's a love relationship card, it, the foundation of it is always a, a friendship, a solid, um, we see the future the same, we have the same outlook on life. It's not really about just all romance. It's that, that even, if it, even if it is a romance, there is this solid foundation underneath. But this is the kind of card, if it is a romance, that this is one of the big indicators to tell you that it could totally be lasting, all right? So this is a good card to have on no matter what. For some of you, this could be somebody from your past, too. When it shows up next to the Six of Cups, sometimes this is somebody from your past, showing back up in your life, you're running into them again, you're connecting with them again, and you're moving forward with them. Either in a partnership of a, a relationship, it could be a love relationship, but it also could be just um, a business relationship. Or maybe it's somebody that you used to work with, 
It could be like that. You've worked with them in the past and you're going to come together again for some kind of project or something like that. It's successful and it's good. And you guys are on the same page. There's not going to be a lot of friction or anything. Things are looking pretty smooth. Everybody's joined together. We're all, yeah, this looks good. They're all looking up at this like, yeah, this, this is, sounds like a plan, man. <laughs> you know, sounds like a good plan. We're gonna, we're all joined together. These, everybody, the, all the imagery of the people in the cards. You know, they're all joined together and happy to be together. So there's a joining together of people and happiness of, in, in celebration. But there is a very strong connection uh, to business and industry and working. You know, you have the magician down here right now too. So the magician is a time to get busy, time to take action. The magician is empowered. The magician and the Nine of Pentacles are very similar cards. And they have a lot of similarities as they both stand on their own two feet. They're both self-made people, you know, and uh, they've, they're, they're doing their own thing and stuff like that. Also, when these two cards show up in the same spread, it can be your own business. It's very strong for people having their own business, striking out, doing a business venture on your own that would be a closer match to like a, a regular kind of a job. But it, it doesn't rule out a regular kind of a job at all. Because there's plenty of regular kind of jobs where you kind of work independently. You know, there's sales, there's lots of jobs that are like that. So, but it's, it's, a, it's a card of independence, of going your own, forging your own trail, um, being, in char being the, at the helm of the ship, you know, seeing the, the direction you're going in and striking out and going in that direction. So for some of you, it's time to show your work, too, I'm getting with this. Because that's what he's doing. He's been working really hard and he's showing it, you know. And so, so some of you, it's time to reveal or show your work. And if that's the case, it's going to go very well with the sun card here, too. You're going to be well-received. You know, people are going to be into what you're doing and appreciative of it. And it's going to it's bring a, a buzz or an excitement. You know, the other people are getting excited or into it. In particular, this Queen of Rods, which if you watch the intro, the intro could be um, male, female, whoever, but a fire sign or fiery type of person who's action-oriented, who's an extrovert, you know, these kind of things. They have a lot of personality. They're very much doers. This is how you can recognize the fire signs, even if you don't really know everybody's astrology. So it's an awesome month for you guys. It's really empowering. It looks great. Definitely some major financial things. Definitely kind of, you kind of got into getting it all figured out. That's half the battle. Got to get it figured out. So let me get down to your animal totem here for you guys. I got it already. Oh, the horse. Excellent. Talk about movement and things moving. Hopefully I'm trying to not get the sheen on the card. How about there? Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, let's see what I wrote. Magic, divination, astral travel, journey. Ride like the wind to the farthest reaches. Expand beyond your comfort zone and explore the realm of possibility. Well, this riding like the wind, you know, that, that's very much action. And I think a horse is, and it is action. And it is also our mode of, a mode of transportation in, at, from a certain era. So, again, I mentioned travel once. There could be some traveling going on for some people. Um... Expand beyond your comfort zone and explore the realms of possibility. That's definitely this, you know. It's definitely everything, excuse me, that I was talking about here with um, forging your own path, um, you know, building your own world, be the dreamer, dream the builder of your life. You know, that's what I'm hearing. So it's an exciting month and it seems like there's a lot of action. It seems like, you know, you've you're ready to graduate. You're ready to move to the next step. You're ready to go to the next level. And that's, you know, the beyond, expanding beyond the comfort zone too. The, the judgment card also indicates that. Okay, Gemini's. Hey, I I don't want to keep blowing my own horn about these calendars, but they are so cool. I mean, this is a calendar that I wanted to have but nobody was making, so I had to make it myself. And I wish there would have been something like this around before I really knew like how to read an ephemeris or when I was just learning some things about astrology. And many of you don't want to learn a lot more. You don't really have to. You know, you don't have to study for years to learn how to read an ephemeris. This is cut and dry, easy. You can know the important stuff, Mercury retrograde, the new moons. I'm already making lists of things I want to include. And like easy ways I can make it understandable, like I always try to do, make it easy and accessible for everyone, okay, with all my stuff. 
Hey, thanks. Besides this, there's the books, the decks, the lots. You can find all that stuff in the Eye in the Sky um, and my website, including the Animal Totem of the Day, which you'll find there, the Animal Totem Card of the Day. And then there's the Animal Totem Card of the Week, which you can find uh, in the Eye in the Sky or below. You can go to my Facebook, um, Rock and Roll Prophetess, and you'll find that as well. Um, thank you for everything you guys do, especially donating. That really makes it worthwhile to keep doing the free readings liking and sharing and commenting on social media and um, just everything you do and uh, supporting every way you support me by purchasing my wares these make great Christmas gifts too <laughs> I keep pushing them but I'm excited about them because they're cool alright Gemini remember you are love and beauty incarnate have a great month of November and I'll speak to you soon